Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the match preview for Arsenal against Leicester. Of course, as I always do in my lineup videos, I'm going to be breaking down the all-time record, uh, the last few meetings against Leicester at home and of course just in general the last few meetings against them. And uh, I'm going to be taking a look at the Europa League results from midweek and of course my lineup and my prediction for the game at the end but just before i get into that i already did a predicted lineup i'll link it up in the youtube card right now i just basically talked about what i think or what i'd imagine that i would do but this is different this is what i would do so without further ado let's just get straight into it so both teams played in midweek um leicester's game was very comfortable three nil win over zoria but our game was really kind of difficult. We had to come back from a goal behind a goal that uh, we gifted them. So we had to work hard for a win. We had to turn to a bench to get the win. But um, the thing is, at home against Leicester, we are always very, very good. In fact, since they were promoted back in 2014, the six games we have played at home, we've won five of them and we drew one. And that one that we drew was at the end of last season in July where... Um, Nketia got a red card and uh, they scored in the like 83rd minute so it would have been 6 out of 6. It's it's really contrasting from how we play against them in, at the King Power Stadium where we've only won once and that was when the likes of Sanchez was still at Arsenal. The all-time record we've won 67 games, we've drawn 45 and Leicester has won 32. Um, they've actually only ever beaten Arsenal away from home only 6 times. I mean in history. When I say history, I mean the first game against um, Leicester was back in 1895. That is more than 100 years ago. So all those games that have been played over the years, so they've only managed six wins away to Arsenal. Um, as I've said, since their promotion, we've managed five wins. Most of those wins, like all of them, all of those wins, apart from the 3-1 win where Ozil was uh, performed very well, masterclass, all the other games have been 2 ones, 2 ones. I remember 4 3 at the start of the 2017 season. Lacazette's uh, debut goal. I remember there was also a 3 2. So it's always very, very tight between these two teams. Um, away at the King Power Stadium, as I've said, one win, two draws, three losses. Um, their last win uh, um, at our place was back in 1973. So we have a very, very good record against them at home. So can we add to the record? Let's find out. But as of now, let me take a look at the last meeting between the two teams at the Emirates Stadium after lockdown. Not so much has changed since we last faced um, Leicester in the Premier League. That was only like four months ago. Um, in terms of the squad, in fact, for us that day, let me go through our lineup. We actually did play a back three. Could we play a back three again? Maybe, but for me, I wouldn't. We had Martinez in goal. Of course, Leno was injured. Uh, back three of Mustafi, Luis, and Kolasinac. Of course, Luis will start, but the other three probably not. Tini was, was at left wing back, will play again. Was rested against Rapid Vienna, came on late on. Bellerin was also rested, came on very late on, like in the 60th minute or something. He will start this one. He was also in that game. We had a midfield of Sabayas, Shaka, and Saka. We could easily see all three of them starting again. And up front, we had Lacazette and Aubameyang. Again, we could easily see any of them uh, starting again. On the bench, we had Torreira, Niles, Willock, and Eddie. Of course, you'd remember Nketiah came on and got that red card. And uh, as soon as we got that red card, Vardy equalized in the 84th uh, minute. Um, for their squad, they had Ayosi Perez and Vardy up front. Ayosi Perez, Vardy, and Ian Nacho. I don't know which one of them are, uh, is going to start. I'm not sure if Vardy is injured. In the middle, they had Albrighton, Tillemans, and Didi, and Justin. You could easily see Justin start Tillemans. At the back, they had Soyonchu, Evans, and Bennett. Of course, Bennett uh, won't play. Evans could play. Soyonchu is out until next year. And Kasper Schmeichel was their goalkeeper. They had Gray, Foots, Pratt, uh, Pratt and um, Burns coming on from the bench. So um, remember, people were allowed like four or five subs after lockdown. So a lot will change from that. Just a couple of statistics from that game. Um, that game meant that Arsenal were unbeaten in 23 home games against Leicester. Um, Aubameyang became the second player to score 20 plus goals in consecutive seasons since Thierry Henry did it five times between 2001 and 2006. Henry is a legend, man. 
five seasons in a row 20 plus goals 20 plus goals man so Obama is the first one to actually score 20 plus goals in two consecutive seasons since Henry did it remember you've had people like Van Persie, Giroud, Adebayo none of them ever did it the final start from that game Jamie Vardy scored his 10th goal against Arsenal this is one of those players I never like facing in fact, only Wayne Rooney has scored more goals than him against Arsenal in the Premier League. Rooney scored 12, Fowler scored 10, Ken has also so far scored 10. You cannot bet against him adding to that. He could easily be the he could actually break um Rooney's record in that. So I hope not, but yeah, Vardy has scored a bunch of goals against us home and away. So that is the fixture that uh, we played against them and uh, that is the starting lineup and the statistics. Now let me get into what my lineup would be for the game. So I just put out my match build up and more position preview with a Leicester fan. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now in case you want some Leicester breakdown. For our lineup, it could be anything. It really actually could be anything just like for them because they were talking about Soyunji being injured until next year. Vard is a doubt. Anyone could play, anyone could be on the bench. So for me, I'd go for a back four. It's time to go for a back four. I'm seeing us struggle very much to create any opportunities. Leno will be in goal because we have no other option and he's our best goalkeeper, but he needs to stop playing from the back. I'd have Luis and Gabriel in the middle of that um, two. Played very well against a Rapid Vienna, both of them. Tierney on the left, Bellerin on the right. My midfield would be Shaka and Pate. And then in front of them would be Pepe on the right, Saka as the number 10, Aubameyang on the left and Lacazette up front. I really need Lacazette and Pepe to perform, man. Lacazette has been missing really um, good chances and uh, decision making has been poor lately, but Saka, total opposite. So I'll give him another game. I'm not sure whether William is fit. If he is, I'll have him on the bench. Didn't really play well in the last two, three games. I'll also have Sabas on the bench if he's fit. And then, of course, the likes of Mustafi, Kolasinac, um, could have anyone on the bench, basically. So... Um, Katie also could come on later on, but that would be my lineup, my starting lineup, just to go through it, ag through it again, sorry. Leno in goal, Bellerin on the right, Tini on the left, Gabriel and Luis. Shaka and Pate in the middle, Pate man of the match against Rapid Vienna. Aubameyang on the left, Pepe on the right, Saka and um, Lacazette up front. My prediction for the game, I'm going to go for a 3-1 win and that is because they don't have Soyonchi. But as I've said, those five games we have beaten them, four of those has been, have been with a one goal margin, one nil, four three, three two, and I think um, two one or something. A couple of two ones, so it's always tight against uh, these two teams. Let me know what your starting lineup would be. Let me know your prediction for the match. Check out my other two videos. The links will be in the description. I have a surprise for you from Saturday. I'll just keep checking the descriptions. Thanks for watching. Keep staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys later.